The reaction is Congressman Darrell Issa from the House Judiciary Committee. Congressman, thanks for joining us. Uh, before we get to this uh, ESG stuff, I do have to ask you, the president uh, apparently has, not a surprise, but he's now signed that uh, disastrous omnibus. Any, uh, any thoughts as we uh, embark on this new taxpayer spending disaster? Well, I think he should be proud of the fact that, are, that there are many billions of good, well-spent dollars out of $1.7 trillion. Now, if you look at the, the downside, the downside is there are hundreds of billions of dollars of unnecessary spending there that is, is in fact, going to have us be in a recession and has still have inflation when that shouldn't be the case. Uh, government is, in fact, the reason we have inflation. Recession is what's being used to cure a disease caused by excess spending. And, you know, President Biden is, is celebrating hundreds of billions of dollars of excess that wasn't necessary and shouldn't have been in this bill. Okay, uh, sad news and now more sad news. Sorry to be a downer on this. The, this ESG stuff, I'm so glad Hillary pointed out ESG funds were big losers this year. This is this year, not a good investment strategy. Now, if people want to take their money and express their values in their investments, that's up to them. But it looks like we have a problem with governments, state governments in many cases. Uh, we might talk about your state. And Wall Street institutions pushing for political changes, whether it's on climate uh, or other issues, that the average investor may not realize that they're even funding this stuff and they don't want to. Well, you know, my state employees who rely on the revenue from the state pension, which is one of the largest in the world, uh, they assume that those fiduciaries are trying to get the greatest return for them. They're not assuming they're trying to move a political agenda. Uh, in, in many cases, as you said earlier, as the, uh, the lead up said, we are driving up the cost of fuel, and particularly the cost of fuel when it comes to the small and medium business, the people, who, the wildcatters who go out and get that oil, find the natural gas. Big companies can usually figure out a way to get their uh, revenue. Exxon will probably just take it out of cash flow. But that's not true of many of the startups, including those who are going to find better, more efficient ways uh, to get fossil fuel, more, and, and quite frankly, in more environmentally sensitive. Those companies are finding it impossible to, to get any kind of financing, which drives up the price of fuel. And it's unfair to the pensioner who expects though, his, pen, his or her pension to get the most revenue it can, which means invest safely, but invest wisely. Well, you talk about the pensioners in your state. CalPERS, obviously a big state employee pension fund, was very early on this trendy ESG, environmental social governance stuff. Uh, they have not done well, it partly as a result. Uh, is that going to change, or do state employees out there generally, or do you think they'll tolerate worse returns to express their views? Well, they haven't, they haven't had a problem yet for a simple reason, that we had, we had a surplus coming out of COVID. That has allowed them to mask the failure of CalPERS and CalSTRS to raise the kind of revenue they're forecasting. But fairly soon, they're going to be looking at needing a tax increase, needing to go to the, uh, the taxpayers for revenue that they should have made out of a return on investment. They didn't make it, and they didn't make it in a good economy. Can you imagine in a bad economy what's likely to happen? Uh, and like California needs higher taxes, like people need another reason to leave and go to Texas or Florida or wherever. I, I don't know if how many of your constituents are fleeing at this moment, Congressman, but uh, well, James, disturbing. we have lost we have lost more people from California in the last three years than exist in Alaska and pretty soon more than will, than what exists in Montana. We are losing a whole state every few years right now. Yeah, and uh, Montana looks pretty good if you're in uh, California. Uh, Many anyway. of them went to Montana. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Congressman. Appreciate it.